Hey everyone, welcome back. This video we're going to be talking about logical and comparison operators. But you know what else? <laughs> Gosh, I gotta come up with a new way to introduce my sponsor. You know what else is logical? <laughs> the decision to join Pramp. Pramp is a free peer-to-peer -peer interviewing platform. So basically in English that means you can go there and practice your technical interviews. So if you need help with your data structures and algorithms or you just need some more coding experience, you can go there, get paired with another individual. They're going to tell you where you stink and where you need to improve and what you're good at so you can start building your interviewing experience and get a job in the industry. So yeah, if you're looking to get a job or you want an internship or you just want to get better at programming, Go check out Pramp, not only just data structures and algorithms, but also topics like system design and front end. So like, pff, why wouldn't you check them out, right? So stop wasting your time with other platforms out there. Go check out Pramp and you will not be disappointed. All right, so back to what we were talking about. <laughs> this video, we are going to be talking about comparisons just like the previous video, but now we're going to make them a little bit more complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask someone how old they are and what their favorite type of animal is, but they're only gonna have two options, cats or dogs. <laughs> and I just decided to go with a clean slate just so you could follow along and it'd be nice and clean. So first thing is we need to do an output so they know what we're asking for. And then we're going to later ask them another question. So I'll just put that out here while we're here, cats or dogs. All right, now after we ask how old they are, we need to get system input. So we're gonna create a scanner, pass in system.in, and then all we have to do is say scanner next line. And we can store this in a variable and it's gonna be of type int now rather than string because we're getting a number, so like that. Now we're gonna get a little issue here, and the issue is that we cannot convert from string to int. And the reason is because this scanner.nextLine method is going to return a string, but we're trying to store that as an integer. So this is where one of those methods we learned earlier comes in. If you remember, I think it was called integer.parseInt. And then we can just pass in a string into these parentheses. And because this next line method is going to return a string, we can just use that inside of this method. All right, now we're going to ask them if they like cats or dogs. So we're going to say string animal and set that equal to scanner.nextLine. Now I want to go through some of the different conditionals we can make with these variables. So we could first restrict the app by age. So we could do something like if age is greater than 12. So hey, you have to be at least 13 to access this app. Well, then we could say sys out, welcome. All right, so you can see we have this new operator and it's greater than. This is an example of a comparison operator. This is a comparison operator that will see if two things are equal to one another and it's known as the equality operator. This is the greater than operator and there's a bunch of other ones. So we're just gonna write them out for you right here. First we have the equal equal, which is the equality operator. Then we have not equal to, which is the opposite of equality operator. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Inequality, that's what it is, yeah. So this is the inequality operator. Yeah, I think it's inequality, but you'll probably just hear not equal to. And you'll probably hear here equal to. Next we have less than, greater than, less than or equal to. This one's interesting because you might be used to seeing like a line underneath the less than, but in programming you have to put the equal sign after it. And then greater than or equal to. So these are the comparison operators and basically they're always going to return true or false. So for example, age greater than 12 is only going to return true if age is 13 or higher. So to see this, let's run the application. How old are you? Dog, I'm 15, man. I like cats. I actually prefer dogs, but whatever. You can see we get access to the app. The next thing you need to know are the logical operators. Logical operators allow us to compare multiple things at once. So for example, let's say we wanted to say age is greater than 12 and your favorite animal was a dog. Here, you could put two and signs, which are capital sevens, and say animal dot equals and pass in dogs. All right, so now let's run this thing. If we say we're 15, but we say cats, we don't get access. But if we say we're 15 and we say dogs, we get access. So now they both have to evaluate to true. This has to be true and this has to be true. The other logical operator you should know about is the or operator, which is two of these pipes, which is right above the enter key. 
Now, either of these have to be true, but not both of them. They can both be true if you want, but it doesn't have to be. So now I could say, hey, I'm 11, but I like dogs a lot, so I get access. <laughs> so let's write out the logical operators. We have and, which means they both have to be true. Then we have or, which means either can be true, or both. And then there's one more you need to know about, and that is the not operator, which is just an, an exclamation mark, which basically will just inverse, I don't know, the Boolean. So if it's true, it's gonna be false. If it's false, it's gonna be true. So if I wanted to say, hey, you can like any animals except dogs, what we could do is we could say, hey, you have to be over 12 and you can't like dogs. <laughs> so now, if I say I'm 15 and I like cats, I get access. <laughs> if I say I'm 15 and I like platypuses, I get access. If I'm 12 and I like T-Rexes, well now I don't get access because this one didn't evaluate to true because it has to be over 12. That covers the basics of the comparison and logical operators. There is another thing you should know, and that is if you put these ands and ors inside of an expression together, it can be a little bit confusing how it's going to evaluate. So whenever you do that, you're going to want to use parentheses to specify which ones you want to evaluate first. So you can just go into an expression, put parentheses around anything, and that'll force that one to evaluate first. In this situation, it's not gonna do anything different, but you definitely should know about that. And my recommendation, honestly, is to never mix and signs with or signs in the same expression. So you can research that more if you want. Just look up logical operator precedence and maybe throw in the word ambiguity in there because it's not super clear what's gonna happen. But when it comes to precedence, this has higher precedence. And we're gonna talk about operator precedence later, but for now, just know that you shouldn't mix these in the same expression as a general rule of thumb. All right, thanks guys, that's all I got for you. If you've enjoyed this content so far, please consider subscribing to my channel as that really helps me out. Also check the description for a link to our Java crash course, our notes, and a link to our incredible sponsor. <laughs> so thank you guys, I'll see you in the next one.